Hi there, Rose Jacobs with you for Calkind Media. Today we're exploring the economic sanctions on Russia. Just before we do though, make sure you hit that bell icon at the bottom of your screen for the latest updates. Now, in the recent past, the UK imposed economic sanctions on a few Russian-based banks and three wealthy individuals after Russian President Vladimir Putin decided to send troops into eastern Ukraine. In a recent incident, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison also announced to impose immediate sanctions on Russia. Let's look at those five Russian-based banks and the three wealthy individuals on which the UK has imposed economic sanctions. We'll also discuss discuss Australia's thoughts on immediate sanctions on Russia. So the UK has imposed sanctions on Rossiya. It is a financial and credit institution offering banking services for business and private clients, being one of the first Russian private banks since 1990. IS Bank is another bank that's in the list. It was listed by the Central Bank of the Russian Federation and has been operational since 1994. Promsvyaz Bank is another bank facing sanctions. It is a Russian privately held universal commercial bank founded in 1995. Promsvyaz Bank is a government-backed, previously private Russian bank from Moscow. And now let's look at three wealthy Russian individuals who got economic sanctions from the UK. Timchenko, a 69-year-old oligarch and entrepreneur who owns the private investment group Volga Group, is facing sanctions from the UK. He's also chairman of the Russian National Hockey League, KHL. The UK slapped economic sanctions on Timchenko due to Putin's decision to send troops into eastern Ukraine. On the other hand, the two members of the Rottenberg family, Boris Rottenberg, also co-owners of SMP Bank, and Igor Rottenberg, have also faced economic sanctions from the UK. Coming back home to Australia, Prime Minister Scott Morrison has announced that Australia would immediately start enforcing sanctions on Russia. He also said that initially Australia would enforce a travel ban and aim for financial sanctions on eight members of the Security Council of the Russian Federation. Morrison did not publicly take the names of those to the media of those individuals who Australia sanctioned, but he hinted that they were the same individuals individuals as those the UK and the US have sanctioned. But that's a wrap for now. Make sure you check out the website calkinemedia.com for plenty more updates throughout the day. I'm Rose Jacobs. Thank you again for joining me.